One of our colleagues was briefly detained as he was reporting from eastern Ukraine. Charles Stratford is also now in Dnipro. Here's his story. We've returned from the city of Zaporizhia where the situation is becoming increasingly tense. A lot more military checkpoints, a lot more military hardware than, uh, than we saw there yesterday. As an indication of how tense it is, we were preparing to go live, to do a live broadcast where out of nowhere, seemingly, um, a group of Ukrainian soldiers and uh, Ukrainian police appeared with their guns, many of them pointing towards us, firing in the air. They demanded that we get out of the vehicle. We threw ourselves to the ground. Our cameraman's uh, telephone was kicked out of his hand and two bullets uh, fired from a Kalashnikov into that telephone. Now, it's important to recognize that these men were just doing their jobs. There are increasing fears amongst the Ukrainian military and security services about what they describe as saboteurs. Um, trying to get into cities and compromising military positions. But um, as I say, our uh, cameras were still rolling when this incident happened. Uh, let's take a look. Hi, uh, Doha. Hey, 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 hey. Stop, 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 stop filming. Journalist. 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 Also reports from the uh, port city of Mariupol, witnesses telling us that uh, what they describe as being increasing numbers of paramilitaries on the streets, Ukrainian paramilitaries helping the Ukrainian army trying to defend the city from what we understand is a push by Russian forces from the west. We know that the city has also suffered heavy shelling from the east. We've also been speaking to people fleeing the area north of Crimea, uh, around the uh, city of Kherson. Uh, people telling us or alleging that uh, Russian forces that have taken control of some of those towns are preventing Ukrainian citizens from leaving them. The situation on the roads around Dnipro, um, very tense, checkpoints a lot more strict. At one checkpoint, um, we saw a Russian helicopter fly low over the checkpoint, causing panic, causing people to, to scatter away, even the security services that, uh, that were manning that checkpoint. But there are increasing fears of the tens, if not hundreds of thousands of civilians that are trying to put as much distance as they can between them and Russian forces advancing on these Ukrainian cities as the, uh, the front lines become increasingly blurred.